Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this tutorial, we will be completing exercise 24 titled Modeling in 3D Space, found in the Level 1 Training Manual. Very quickly, we will draw our chair like we did in the last tutorial. Be sure to have your Project Mode in the OSNAP menu selected when doing this. Project Mode will help you draw more quickly and effectively. By turning off the other layers, you can see your drawing in 3D space more clearly. The tutorial wants us to draw a small rectangle or square flat with the back of the chair. There is really only one way to do this correctly, and that is by creating a new C plane using the points of the chair back. To create the new construction plane, go to the top menu and select View, Set C plane, Three Points. As you can see, you will want to adjust your O snaps appropriately. I will deselect Point and Project. Then simply select the following three points of your chair back. Now if we rotate the view of our perspective viewport, you will see that our C plane has been set to be flush with the back of our chair. For more information on setting your construction planes, please follow the link to that video. After setting our construction plane, we can set our view. To set your view, go to the top menu and select Set View, and then select the type of view we will select Plan. Doing so will allow us to view our construction plane straight on. We can now draw our square. Restore your perspective view by going to the top menu and selecting View, Set View, Perspective, or by right-clicking on the viewport title. We can name our views the same way we can name our C planes. This will provide us with another way to easily switch our views. Simply click your saved view and hit Restore. The next step in exercise 24 is to convert our frame into a pipe. Do so by going to the top menu and clicking Solid, Pipe, and Type 3 for your radius. Now I get this weird result, which shouldn't happen, but I chose to include it in this tutorial because I'm sure at some point you may make the same mistake that I did. In this case my frame is not all one piece. Somewhere along the frame, I have a separation between my line segments. I will solve for this problem by exploding these lines, then rejoining them, using Edit in the top menu. As you can see, I am given a pop-up menu that asks me if I want to join two lines that are currently .04 units apart. We will hit OK to join these two line segments. We will again select Solid, Pipe, and enter our radius as 3. And this time it works. But we want to get rid of the hard corners of our chair frame, and so we will undo this action and again go to the top menu. This time select Curve, Fillet Corners, and select your chair frame. Set your radius to 10. Before we pipe our frame, we will again explode our drawing by going to the top menu and selecting Edit, Explode. To create the back and seat to our chair, we will go to the top menu and select Surface, Edge Curves. Then select the two curves you would like to convert into a surface. Perform this action for all of the curves that need a surface. Select two at a time. Finish this step by joining all of your newly made surfaces. Now we may cut out of the back of our chair. Do so by selecting your square. Then go to the top menu and select Edit, Trim. Select your newly joined surface as the object to trim. We can then move our completed chair seat to the seat layer by selecting our seat model portion. Right click on the seat layer and select Move Objects to this layer. Turning off this layer will make the selection of our chair frame easier. Now we can repipe our frame, and you don't even need to join your frame to do this, but you certainly could if you wanted to. Once again, go to the top menu and select Solid, Pipe, and finish with setting your pipe radius. Now we may turn our seat layer back on. Finally, the last thing Exercise 24 asks of us is to set the viewport to the rendered viewing mode. The Level 1 manual provides us with an example of what our model should look like and what it could look like if we were to go a little further. That concludes our run through of Exercise 24 in the Level 1 training manual. I hope you will continue to watch the following videos in this series 
As always, thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. Check out my other videos and subscribe.